Hello guys, in a very exciting development, Microsoft has released plethora of 5.3 variants. We already have covered 5.3 models in Mini and few other variants last month. And in this video, I am going to introduce you to this new 5.3 Vision 128K Instruct model. We will get it installed locally and then we will also test it out. 5.3 Vision is a lightweight, state-of-the-art open multimodal model built upon data sets which include synthetic data and filtered publicly available websites with a focus on very high quality reasoning dense data both on text and vision. The model belongs to 5.3 model family and the multimodal version comes with 128k context length in tokens of course which it can support. The model underwent a rigorous enhancement process incorporating both supervised fine-tuning and direct preference optimization to ensure precise instruction adherence and robust safety measures. I already have covered both SFT which is supervised fine-tuning and DPO which is direct preference optimization in my uh, on my channel so if you are interested in learning about that please search it out. For example a DPO direct preference optimization simply gives it a question and then a rejected answer and accepted answer so when a model gets trained on such a data set it knows what is wrong and what is right and so it is more uh, of good quality nature and the answers delivered by model are of real good quality this 53 vision model is intended for broad commercial and research use in english <laughs> The model provides uses for general purpose AI systems and applications with visual and text input capabilities that require memory or compute constrained environments, latency bound scenarios, general image understanding, optical character recognition or OCR and also chart and table understanding. So 5.3 model really looks good. It has got 4.2 billion parameters and contains image encoder, connector, projector and 5.3 mini language model. It takes text and input as image and the best prompt template for it is chat format which I will also show you. The context length as I mentioned earlier it is 128k tokens and it has been trained on 512 H100 GPUs and each GPU had 80 gig of vram the training time was just 1.5 days that's it nothing more nothing less training data was 500 billion vision and text tokens and of course it generated text in response to the input and the model was trained just this year between feb and april and this is a static model by the way trained on an offline text data set with cutoff date march 15 2024 it's an open weight release and these weights were released just today few hours ago and we are trying to see what exactly this model is so let me try to take you to my local system which is this it is ubuntu 22.04 where i am running one gpu card of 22 gpu of vram you should be good with even 16 gpu of vram in order to run it comfortably let me clear the screen also I will be installing everything within my Conda environment which will keep everything nice and clean in my own workspace without disturbing any other configuration on my system. If you don't know how to install Conda, please search my channel. You should already see one video or two about Conda. Let me clear the screen and now let me create the Conda environment. I am creating this Conda environment which is PyVision with Python 3.11. Just press Y here and it is going to install the Conda environment here that is done. Let's activate that environment and you will see that it is activated in the parenthesis. Let's clear the screen and now let's install all the prerequisites. The first prerequisite which I want to install is a Transformers library from the source because this model is very new and only available in the source. So let's try to get it installed. It is going to uninstall my previous version of transformer and it is going to install the new version so let's wait for it to finish transformers is done let's install few of the other prerequisites like flash attention numpy pillow torch and torch vision 
that is fine you can ignore that warning let's wait for it to get installed all the prerequisites are done let's clear the screen and now let's fire up our python interpreter and we are going to import all of the libraries which we have just installed we have imported transformers auto processor and all that stuff let's also specify our model id which in our case is this 53 vision 128k and now let's download the model and for model download i'm just using this pre-trained uh, function from auto model for causal lm device map is cuda because i have one gpu card i am trusting the remote code to true make sure that you set it and then torchy type is auto so let me run it and model is being downloaded there are two tensors the first tensor is just under 5 gig and let's see how much is the second one wait is good the second one is just 3.35 gig so let's wait for this model to get downloaded shouldn't take too long now and then it is going to load this model onto my gpu model is downloaded and loaded onto our gpu and next specify the processor which is going to pre-process our input for the model and that is almost done with the tokenizer as you can see let's specify our prompt so prompt is very simple which i'm using that what is shown in this image and now let's also specify the chat prompt template which is ideal for this model make sure you also give your prompt in this way where you're specifying image one if you're the one image one prompt and then user and assistant tags that is also done let's specify our url for the image which i'm going to use so this is a url and let me quickly show you what exactly this image looks like because this is what we are going to process shortly so this will be the image which has some um bar bar graph and all that stuff so let's see if this image is able to read that or not so first let's open this image from that url by using pillow library that is done now let's process our prompt which is in the message and um, with the image and also the tokenizer with that processor the auto processor from hugging face now our whole prompt is done let's specify our input to the processor that is also done let's specify a few of the generation arguments from the model which we are going to use and this is where we are going to ask model to generate the output on the basis of this input which we have just specified with the help of processor that contains our image our prompt and few of this end of um you know uh, you have and uos token and tokenizer and all that stuff so let me run it and you can ignore this warning this takes a bit of a time and by the way these are all hyper parameters as how many tokens it is going to generate what is the randomness of the response we have set the randomness to zero it means that it will be very deterministic the response we have um, received let's try to pre uh, post process this response we are just removing um, the input tokens from the response let's decode it with the help of tokenizer that is also done and now let's try to print the response here there you go it shows you that the image displays a bar chart with five vertical bars each representing the percentage of respondents amazing stuff you see um, if i take you back to that bar this was the image and this is a response how good is that so if you see we have one two three four five bars and then each bar has something written underneath it there are some percentages and if, if you go here it has given you all of these percentages here how good is that so one two three four five percentages so perfectly awesome stuff in terms of ocr and other things let's try out one more image i have cleared the screen for the next example and in the next example this is the image i am going to show to the model and i have placed this image on my local drive instead of the url so let's try it out first let's grab the image so it is just in the same root directory with the name 4a.png and i'm converting it to the 
RGP. So that is done. Let's try to give it the same prompt as what is uh, which we did earlier as what is shown in this image something like that maybe i'll just put it here for the completion this is a prompt i'm specifying and then once that's done let's try to process it with the processor you see here i'm just giving the processor to the tokenizer and generating it so let me run it that is done and now let's also generate our input that's also done specify our generation arguments we don't need to but just for the completion of it and then we need to generate the output with the model that is going to take a bit of a time but that is fine we can wait that is done and let's give it some of the uh, remove the input id so that the response will be clearer and now let's decode the output with the help of our tokenizer and stuff processor sorry and then let's output the response there you go so it says the image depicts a serene landscape during sunset there is a large tree on the left a kangaroo in the center there are three kangaroos so as you can see there are three kangaroos so there is a mistake and then it says and a kookaburra bird flying in the sky on the right that is not a kookaburra i think it is just uh, imagining that this is australia because we have a bird here kookaburra uh, it might be kookaburra but it's not one there are multiple uh, casting a warm glow uh, over the scene but all in all i think amazing model in terms of i should say ocr plus a general understanding of image remember this is a very very small vision model and still its performance is amazing so very impressed by the model now you know how to get it installed I will put all of these commands in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.